guys, Wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Sashel, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a cartoon logo for your brand, for your business, for your YouTube channel. Guys, if you haven't already checked out how I did my banner, click the card above for how I did that. So let's get into the video. So I use the Pixar app to create my banner, and it's the only app that i use this can take you less than 10 minutes so hit that plus sign scroll down hit the checkered background which makes it transparent and this is most important when you are gonna create a logo you want a transparent background that stands out on any form then you want to scroll down to the bottom and then you're going to click add photo and you're going to choose the photo that you want to basically be the foundation of your logo now i'm going to basically cut that out so you're going to select the cutout icon at the bottom there i'm going to se select like person or face or head depending on how much and then you're going to use the erase icon to basically draw around that and to erase whatever parts you don't need so i'm going to kind of do like the semi circular part down to the bottom there and around onto where you know i feel like it's perfect if you made a mistake and you erase something that you want you can click the restore button and that will basically restore what you had erased so the preview button show you how you can how it looks basically and then that looks good so i click the little tick at the top there and now i'm scrolling over to create a border around that i'm minimizing the amount and then i'm going to basically turn that to black because i don't really want it to look like it had been cut out i want it to be as natural as possible so yeah so now i'm cl clicking on filters and i'm going to that first sketch one and i'm going to basically play around with editing you can do this with um playing around with it anyhow you want um i'm just adjusting the lines verticals and horizontals and i'm kind of feeling it out this is pure discretion for what you like i never wanted to do too animated so i just basically you know do it to what i like so this part you can just watch and you can do whatever you want to do as it relates to coloring for the part that has normal and or that shows like the, the overlay so i just hit multiply so you can get that really bronzy tone went back into filters now go into the artistic tab and i'm clicking cartoonizer under the artistic tab and i'm playing around that i'm making the adjustments i want it to look a bit cartoony and animated but at the same time i don't want it to look extreme i want it to look real so i'm basically adjusting that and that's based on your own discussion so select the arrow button at the top right when you are finished formatting and then I'm going to go and basically pick up a sticker. I already saved them but I'm going to show you where you go to get your stickers. So you click on sticker at the bottom there and then you hit on discover the little icon there and then you're going to put in what you're looking for. So I'm looking for circle borders and you can pick up your variety. If you want to look for something else you can pick it up from there. So basically I'm going this in with this one i'm kind of pulling and dragging and positioning it till where i feel it's best then i'm going to use erase the icon at the bottom and i'm going to erase whatever is in where i don't want it to be then i'm going to go in i'm going to add another circle border which is this one over top of that so it looks like it's very illuminated and nice and i do the same thing i hit erase remove what i don't want restore if i erase something incorrectly so you can do that you can even change the effects at the bottom there play around with the formatting features at the bottom guys to your own discretion this is i just kept it simple with this one it's not so much detail so it's kind of just playing around because i'm finished now with that sticker i'm going to click the arrow button at the top and then i'm going to add another sticker because i think i want a little journal there so i click on sticker i'm going to put in like diary or so diary and i'm just going to see what they have in store for me so scroll down choose the one that you like whatever appeals to you i think i'm going with this pink one with the pin right there i think this is very cute so i'm gonna just select that and basically drag it down positioning it to where i feel it's best so i'm sitting it right there at the bottom there and i think i want it to stand out so i'm gonna click on that and i'm gonna scroll over and i'm gonna hit border because that makes it stand out i'm going to minimize the amount of the border so it doesn't look too fake and then you can change the color and all of that right here but i'm not going to do any of that i'm going to click on that again add a text and i'm going to put in 
special journal instead of just having my name at the bottom of the logo i'm just gonna put it right there on top of the journal the diary so right here now you can change the font and all of that i wanted this to stay at that font because it's very bold and it can stand out on the book because i'm going to kind of bring it down small so you can change the color and the format and all of that as i said your own discretion i'm just going to basically show you the basic features and you can go ahead and play with it it's very fun guys so i'm just basically pulling and positioning it onto the book and i think i want to change the stroke so i'm going to hit stroke so it kind of create a border around the letter and you can change the color of your stroke so that the word kind of stands out more so i think yeah i think that is good so i hit the r button at the top right and i think that looks pretty good to me so yeah i don't think i need anything else it's a simple cartoon look it's very sophisticated you're gonna hit the top right button again hit save and this will basically save it to your gallery and yeah guys it's simple as that less than 10 minutes a perfect looking cartoon logo very attractive you don't have to use photoshop it's very easy even a beginner can do so guys i hope you enjoyed remember to check out my banner video which was also created using pixart and i see you next week